Today we are going to talk about Newton's second law, but with a twist. Imagine a situation in which a body is moving very fast. So according to Einstein, the mass of the object increases. Then how do we use Newton's second law to calculate the amount of force acting on the body? In that case, we have to modify our equation F is equal to ma a bit. As you remember from the last video, Newton's second law actually says that the force acting on a body is equal to the change in momentum divided by change in time. We know that P momentum is equal to the product of mass and velocity. Now that mass is changing, we have to do some modification to calculate the force on the body. Let's go to the derivation of equation for mass changing. Now, apply the product rule of differentiation on change in mass and velocity divided by change in time. So the force is then equal to the mass multiplied by the change in velocity divided by the change in time. Plus, velocity multiplies the change in mass divided by the change in time. Now, this is the equation that can be used to know the force applied on the object whose mass is changing. Now, if the mass is constant, then the change in the mass will become zero. And then the whole term will become zero because when you multiply zero with something, it gives you a zero result. Now, change in velocity divided by change in time is called acceleration. And that is how you go back to Newton's second law common equation f is equal to ma and that's it for today thank you for watching and i hope you learned something new about newton's second law for changing the mass of the object